Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the keynote session of the Thursday afternoon. Uh, today we are going to have three uh, presentations. The first one will be presented by Professor Dr. Mehdi Zare. Uh, Mehdi Zare got his uh, bachelor degree from Tehran University. Then he got his uh, master degree from, degree from Tarbiat Mudaris University, both in geology. Then he got his PhD in engineering, seismology from Grenoble University from France. Also, he got habilitation degree in geologic, geological and geophysical engineering from Strasbourg University in 2017. Uh, currently, uh, Professor Dr. Mehdi Zare is full professor of the engineering, actually. Uh, in, in engineering seismology in International Institute of Earthquake Engineering and Seismology in Iran. Uh, he is also associated member of Geology Division, Basic Science Department of Academy of Science of Iran since 2016. And also he has taken several responsibilities in uh, inter uh, International Institute of Earthquake Engineering and Se uh, Seismology of Iran. In fact, the list of his uh, responsibilities and his actually articles is very, very long. Uh, actually, he is the author of more than 60 uh, articles in his field. And his main research field is seismic risk, assess risk assessment and disaster risk management in mega cities. Uh, actually, here I would like to invite Professor Dr. Mehdi Zare to give his presentation. Uh, with the title of Strong Motion Studies in Iran and Turkey, Near Field, and Spectral Zoning Maps implica Implication in Seismic Building Code. Uh, Mr. Zare, floor is yours. Actually, you can present your uh, presentation. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is to present uh, the uh, lecture on uh, strong motion studies in Iran and Turkey. I am Mehdi Zare from IIES uh, and uh, Academy of Sciences, uh, Tehran, Iran. Uh, I will uh, try to resume the uh, uh, recent studies uh, on the strong motion uh, specifications recorded in Iran and Turkey, uh, specifically uh, in viewpoint of uh, importance of uh, uh, near field and spectral uh, zoning maps. Uh, and the aim is to be focused on uh, seismic building codes uh, in both countries. Um, If we look at uh, the uh, situation in the region, we will observe that uh, um, both Iran and Turkey are located in uh, high slip uh, zones, uh, which, which are representative for um, tectonic convergence. Uh, 
Anatolian uh, plate and uh, Iranian uh, plate are both uh, in uh, in a convergence zone, and uh, uh, simple shear tectonic is um, uh, influencing uh, the seismic activities and uh, um, I mean the uh, tectonic activities in both uh, region. Uh, due to uh, such activity, we observe uh, the uh, seismicity of the uh, region, historical seismicity, which we have uh, studied uh, during the EMA project, a great uh, gem project uh, in the region. Most of our data came from Iran and Turkey, and uh, uh, we have used the uh, uh, not only the seismicity data, but also the um, active pulse uh, as a database have been uh, compiled. Uh, and then the seismic source zones uh, have been uh, uh, represented. Uh, and uh, finally, we have uh, developed the uh, seismic hazard zoning map um, for the region, for the Middle East region. Uh, in fact, this map uh, was uh, the, the first in many point of views, especially uh, in incorporating uh, different active tectonic uh, regimes uh, in the region, the subduction zones, and the importance of uh, the recently uh, studied and uh, um, specified uh, seismic or zones. Um, and um, as you may see in some regions, uh, such as uh, southern Turkey and um, uh, southeast of Iran, the, the level of um, uh, maximum acceleration was, uh, are observed uh, in uh, different level comparing to uh, previous uh, studies. Um, in Iran, during five decades, last five decades, the seismic uh, hazard zoning maps have been developed. Uh, especially these maps have been aimed to uh, represent uh, the input data for the Iranian seismic building code and um, in fact, uh, if you look at uh, the progress of uh, these maps, you may observe that uh, in all of the uh, new maps, uh, new information have been incorporated. And uh, in very recent maps, you, you see that uh, the, the maps are um, including the uh, line sources and the uh, uh, fault geometry uh, as uh, far as it is available, the data might be available, have been uh, included. But in previous maps, uh, it, uh, they are mostly dependent on uh, area of sources uh, because uh, the uh, information on seismic source zones have not been um, um, sufficient in order to uh, incorporate the uh, fault geometry. Uh, then uh, these are the maps, I mean, among all of the maps, uh, all the uh, seismic zoning maps, uh, these are the, the maps that have been um, included in the Iranian seismic building code since 1987. Uh, the leader for such uh, zoning uh, has been uh, the late uh, Dr. Ali Akbar Muhyiddin, who has been the uh, founder of uh, Iranian Building Code and uh, the zoning maps for uh, uh, Iranian Seismic Building Code. Uh, and I may I may uh, insist that uh, these maps. Uh, and the, the idea of uh, seismic uh, building code have been initiated by Dr. Moifar 
uh, after the earthquake of 1962 of Buin Zahra in Western Tehran region. Therefore, uh, the country actually has a um, background of about 60 years of uh, such studies in order to develop the uh, and to incorporate the newest knowledge and models in uh, developing the seismic uh, building code for a national seismic building code. And uh, just I have mentioned the uh, one of the last works that have been uh, included uh, in OFA project for um, National Building Code of uh, Turkey. And uh, you may see that uh, on this map, which have been developed by, uh, in 2018, uh, the, uh, the major seismic sources uh, have been uh, more precise based on the uh, recent data. And in fact, in Turkey, uh, the access to uh, spectral uh, uh, acceleration for some places, for some cities, and uh, the PGA for uh, any uh, coordination uh, is possible actually using uh, the website uh, which represent the uh, specifications and data uh, in database for uh, Turkey uh, National Building Code. Uh, um, okay, what we need uh, to develop the National Seismic Building Codes uh, in order uh, to update uh, and incorporate new data and methods to qualify uncertainties and to validate the hazard models, uh, we may uh, still uh, try to include uh, more precise data. In, uh, in Iran, we have uh, a seismic network which covers uh, all over the country uh, using uh, actually 150 online uh, seismic uh, instruments, broadband uh, stations, and uh, all of the data is gathering in uh, Tehran and uh, Based on such data, the, the completeness of the catalog is uh, approaching uh, to the values uh, um, uh, uh, for the magnitudes uh, between 3.5 and uh, 4. And uh, at least uh, this has been possible for the region um, of uh, North Northwest. And this, we have more and uh, more concentrated uh, seismic um, stations. Uh, however, in the east of the country and uh, southeast of the country, uh, the, uh, the, the network is sparsely uh, arranged and uh, actually the, uh, the data may not be uh, uh, be uh, complete for the magnitudes less than uh, magnitude four. Um, therefore, um, and uh, I may insist that uh, after 63 years of uh, instrumentation in the, the country, the, um, and after uh, 50 years of uh, a strong motion networking uh, in Iran, and you see the, uh, the stations. Um, we may use uh, their data, I mean, the seismic, seismicity catalogs and uh, strong motion catalogs uh, in order to, uh, to build uh, the new uh, seismic uh, source models for uh, new generation of seismic hazard maps. This uh, uh, is a view of, of uh, seismogenic sources um, as of um, 2020, I mean, um, recent study which has been completed last year. And um, the, you have seen the um, active faults, and this is uh, 
the seismicity and uh, the seismogenic, uh, I mean, the geomagnetic fields and uh, very different layers such as uh, gravity field and uh, the geologic data uh, and the other layers. Here you see that uh, 12 uh, different layers of information have been used in order to uh, generate the seismogenic source uh, model. And uh, this is the model uh, in which uh, the, for each of the uh, source zones, the um, uh, seismicity parameters have been uh, presented uh, and uh, having the A value and B value and their uncertainties, uh, a different level of uncertainties. And a systemic uncertainty um, model has been used in order to incorporate uh, these values. And uh, using the uh, ground motion uh, data, we uh, may actually uh, use the data of about uh, 14,000 uh, three component records uh, of um, the, a network of more than um, 1,100 uh, stations all over the uh, country. And um, if uh, we look at the, uh, um, what's the condition in uh, Iran uh, and Turkey and other countries uh, for the building code, uh, um, the seismic hazard, soil amplification, elastic design spectra, uh, and uh, reduction and behavior factors in both codes, code, uh, I mean, building code in Iran and Turkey uh, might be a, a point of interest in order to be uh, modified and developed. Um, uh, in uh, recent and uh, future studies. Uh, in fact, the characteristics of new near field uh, earthquakes and difference of ground motion response uh, key parameters in, uh, in the earthquakes based on real records in both countries, Iran and uh, Turkey, are uh, a, a point of uh, interest. And um, in fact, the efficiency of um, Iran and Turkey um, seismic building code for design of building subjected to near uh, near fit might be um, confirmed uh, based on the um, earthquakes which are recorded, uh, for instance, in Tabas earthquake of 1978, in Bam earthquake of 2003, uh, in Iran. Uh, I mean the near field uh, data and uh, on the uh, other hand, in Turkey, in, in the uh, records obtained in um, uh, Izmit and Duzje earthquakes of 1999, um, and uh, the records um, of uh, more recent uh, events, which are recorded uh, in Turkey, uh, might be uh, uh, used as the uh, near field uh, source of information for uh, uh, building code purposes. Um, on the modified uh, ground motion catalogs, uh, there have been some uh, projects which have been performed. A database have been developed uh, in uh, a pan European uh, as the pan-European accelerometric data, uh, Lucia, Lucy, uh, and his colleagues, including included uh, the colleagues from Turkey and uh, myself, um, we have published uh, an article in uh, Seismological Research Letters in 2016. Uh, at, in this pan-European accelerometric data, uh, we have included uh, uh, the data from uh, Turkey and uh, Iran and other uh, 
uh, source of information in uh, pan-European uh, region, such as uh, Italy, uh, Greece, and uh, other countries which could uh, provide it, the data by that time. And um, I have uh, worked on um, a strong motion database of Iran and published uh, some articles in 1999, 2000, uh, two, 2004, uh, 2012. A, a couple of articles have been published in this um, uh, point of view. And uh, the strong motion data set of Turkey, uh, it was a very preliminary uh, work on data processing and site classification, which has been uh, part of my uh, postdoc and uh, which has been uh, published in 2002. Uh, um, in that uh, article, about 20 years ago, it has been published. Uh, I have worked uh, on the strong motion data of Turkey. Uh, at that time, uh, has been delivered uh, open access uh, to uh, the researchers. And uh, the data uh, um, has included the uh, Izmit and Duzje earthquake, uh, earthquakes of 1999 records. Uh, therefore, uh, that article of 2002 in Soil Dynamics and Earthquake Engineering has uh, uh, published, uh, has been published in, uh, uh, in that time uh, with uh, good uh, uh, precision uh, on um, digital uh, processing of uh, the uh, accelerograms and could provide it a, a very preliminary um, database. Um, um, okay, you see some uh, features from that article in 2016 that uh, I have mentioned that uh, the data from Iran and Turkey has been included and uh, um, you see here the, the article, another article um, you know, of 2016, uh, strong motion processing of Iranian earthquakes, um, a 10 year uh, review of 2004, 2014. And um, um, in those um, articles, we have uh, worked on uh, processing of the data. Uh, I mean, from a very uh, classical point of view, uh, signal-to-noise ratio, determining the uh, high-pass and low-pass uh, filters, and um, I mean, doing uh, all of the classical uh, works in order to um, eliminate or uh, reduce the noise levels, and uh, uh, determining the uh, H over V uh, spectrum of uh, each record, each component, in order to find uh, the fundamental frequency for each uh, record uh, uh, in, um, in a way to determine uh, the uh, site classification uh, for each uh, station. And um, the results um, have been uh, useful in order to uh, represent the uh, strong motion parameters, uh, duration of the strong ground motion, and site class for each uh, process uh, record. And uh, you see here some uh, articles which have been uh, published in this way. And in very uh, recent articles, in uh, one of them in uh, uh, published in Bolton of uh, Seismological Society of America, BSSA. We have uh, worked on um, um, new empirical ground motion model for Iran. In uh, in these, uh, this recent study, uh, we have included uh, the, the view of uh, providing the uh, new generation strong ground motion uh, attenuation models. Um, for uh, the, the data set of um, Iran um, by 2018, we have included. 
Okay, in uh, Turkey, uh, as I have mentioned, the slip rate is uh, in some places up to uh, 20 millimeter per year, and uh, especially toward the east of the country, eastern uh, Anatolia uh, zone, and uh, due to uh, such tectonic framework, uh, the Anatolian uh, block is uh, um, moving toward uh, west, and uh, the, the major fault zones of the country, such as North Anatolian uh, fault zone, uh, East Anatolian fault zone, and Asia uh, Sea tectonic zone, are the uh, are representing the uh, major framework of um, um, active tectonics of uh, Turkey, and uh, in the Izmit earthquake of 1999, um, unfortunately, uh, having more than 17,000 uh, victims. Uh, in, um, it, it has been uh, observed that the importance of near field uh, and uh, site and amplification is uh, uh, um, significant in uh, Anatolian earthquakes and um, with a magnitude 7.4 uh, 